Welcome to my latest episode. Talk of the town is Corona. And now black fungi, followed by white fungi, and now even yellow fungi. So what is this all about? I take you in this episode to a wonderful scientific tool of the difference between black and white fungi, its prevention and who will get affected, treatment, and also at the end, I give you a demonstration on simple steaming technique which you can practice in your own kitchen. So stay tuned. Fungal infections basically are opportunistic infections. The good news is that it's rare. The bad news is pretty dangerous if you're affected. If you see the total Indian population and the number of people affected, you can see it's quite less, low. Here you can see the difference between black fungi and white fungi. Mucomycosis is responsible for black fungi and candida group of organisms for white fungi. Now the general question is that whether this white fungi is more dangerous than black fungi. The issue with white fungi is that it affects most of the internal organs and uh, Compared to black fungi, white fungi affects more severely for uh, immunosuppressant patients and those persons who are having multiple health issues. It is a problem with white fungi. If you check out the symptoms between the black fungi and the white fungi, you can see the headache and facial deformities mainly because of the uh, swelling in the cheeks and eyes and black rust on the nose and uh, facial pain uh, below the eyes and you know the neurologic pain will not allow you to sleep of the sinus issues and uh, blurred vision maybe even may lead to lose of vision and sometimes even extraction of the eyes but remember always there could be a popping of one of the eyes and uh, because of all this you know the psychological issues will be there and toothache and black, black spots on the upper palate and nose nasal discharge and uh, white fungi if you see the cough fever diarrhea and white patches on the tongue and dark spots in the lung x-ray and reduction in the oxygen level you can have fungus love sugar and blood of the uncontrolled diabetic people with more sugar you know they invite this fungal infection and also you can see uh, other issues like uh, renal failure AIDS patients and cancer patients, cardiac issues and organ transplantations, all these things will be used for high steroidal use, which makes them susceptible. Uh, source of fungi include soil, plants, decayed vegetables, food and mold like water. The atmosphere already contains spores of fungus and mainly because of the inhalation, inoculation and oral ingestion the transmission occurs and burns and cuts and as i told oral ingestion also will be used now the question is how to prevent fungal infection the main issue is that if you have survived covid it's well and fine and congratulations but make sure you have all precautions of covid because already you are immunity is reduced Avoid our usage of steaming. Three to five minutes is more than enough, as I told. In other ways, it may even lead to nasal depletion. And clean surroundings, proper ventilation, and avoid uh, keeping rotten vegetables and cover wounds and burns. This is very important. And immunosuppressants, I mean, immuno boosters. You can use a lot of immuno boosters. I have already put it in another video. And the treatment includes the liposomal amphotericin B. It's uh, better than the uh, conventional because the conventional may lead to renal failures. The liposomal drug delivery includes the micellar formations and uh, these are the micellar formations because it gives a steady state drug concentration, reduces the renal toxicity. It lodges both hydrophilic and lipophilic drugs and it will leave, release the drug in a controlled fashion that's now here i'm going to demonstrate about the simple steaming technique which you can utilize from your own kitchen this is a 
ordinary kitchen pressure cooker and you can see the water and make sure the water is not contaminated with fungi because we have to ensure it's fungal free and also the utensil, the lid, the inner circumstances, everything is clear from fungi infection and also you can see here this is the uh, GI pipe, uh, steel pipe which I have made it exclusively for this particular purpose and the uh, significance is that one side is chopped with 45 degree angle on one side and just opposite you can see the other end you can see it is uh, cut into the 45 degree in the opposite direction. The reason is when you keep the one end under pressure cooker the other end faces your face exposes to your face so this is the advantage of having this particular and don't go for any kind of rubber type you know uh, utensils now here you can add some herbs inside the particular vessel or you can keep something you know here Pan in the pocket it's bad number yeah, you can see here some possible sanctorum or some herbs, you can keep it here. It's really aromatic, you can see. The smell is really aromatic. Now, whether steaming is bad for health, if you are a normal person, you can have 5 minutes steaming, that's enough. Because over steaming also is not good for the face because it may cause erythema or maybe it may increase uh, your psoriasis or eczema if you have that. So th now you can see here the pressure how developed and slowly the steam is coming here. Let the initial steam get away. Don't use it because there could be some fungal spores even in this particular tube. Better to avoid plastic. It's better to go for uh, you know, steel type of pipes and you can see here slowly the uh, steam is developing it's coming on the other side of the nozzle yeah you can see here right so let the initial phase go a little and once you are comfortable you can even reduce the uh, flame a little bit so that you'll be comfortable on your face stay healthy Stay calm, stay connected. Thank you so much for watching my video.